All right, today I'm gonna show you how to unlock pixel purchase for Snapchat. The fastest way possible in my opinion, but don't take my advice. I really started the store October 1st and I just started running Snapchat ads the fifth. So I'm gonna run you through how I unlocked pixel purchase and no bullshit. If you can see here, we unlocked pixel purchase. No bullshit, you can see if we edit the campaign and scroll down, it is pixel purchase. So I'm gonna walk you through on my journey on how to unlock this. I spent a total of 350 bucks roughly because uh, some of the ads didn't really go to um, the targeted time. I closed some of them earlier than usual just to save some money and we saved some money, I guess. But this is how to unlock pixel purchase, 350 bucks, I guess. So we're gonna start on October 5th. As you can see, I have nothing October 5th because I started this um, ad campaign and I needed it to set up, so. I set it up, ran my first ad the next day. We have one split test and let's see, our test was one, one, two. So we had 250 swipe ups. Now, let me add some columns real quick and I'm gonna run you through on, on what I was looking at real quick. So I was looking at purchases and add the cart. So I saved that. I had 10 add the carts. 250 swipe ups, 10,000 views off of 50 bucks. I thought this was crazy. I thought this was amazing. Moving on to the next day. Um, it's a one one. Okay, if you guys don't understand what a one one two is, it's one campaign, one ad set of two different video ads. In a cent, here's my ad set since I can show you guys this. Uh, my demographic for this 18 plus female English didn't have anything specific except for that. Moving on to the next campaign, day two on the next day. I took that information and did a split test um, on, on uh, three different videos. So I did one, one, three, and I like to run the same strat on TikTok, but you do, uh, don't mind this one, but I did do this. So two different campaigns. Uh, set for the same day at the same time um, two different products. So keep that in mind. These are two different products and I I saw beauty was at 20 the massager was at 20 uh, The amount spent was about 19. These are the impressions that it got CBM swipe ups. It had more swipe ups, but what I noticed is that the beauty product had uh, more added cards and we ran three different uh, ads for each one and I just gathered the information on which one had the most views even though it had the most amount uh, spent. I don't know if these CPMs are bad or good, but I just took what was based off the an analytics and we had zero ad to carts on the, the company, but we had two on this. So I decided to go with this. So we ran a different split test on the product, which was a reverse 113, which is just a 311. So we take those three different uh, video ads. In this case, I changed the, the two losing video ads into two different ones to see if it would, um, to see if it would win. And before doing this, I would, I would do the, 113 again but just with different videos and then have your regular one running already but so we ran three different tests three different campaigns on three different products but one of the campaigns was different because after that second um day we unlocked pixel add the cart so right away i put that into the next campaign ran it the next day and it might look different here. Keep in mind, I did have these prices different. So if we go to the ad set, we're gonna review it here. I did three different, um, I did three different campaigns, one uh, demographic and one, one uh, test. It would be like a one, 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 or it's three because it's one product. And then I just did one um, ad set for each one. I had fifty dollars on this one. It performed really well, and then the other videos did pretty well as well. We had two purchase total, six on a different video. I spent for twenty five bucks, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Because it was mainly for add to cart, and I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" Six total add to carts, two purchases, 
we had the last winner at one and two. So we're running a different campaign. And um, the videos did really well. So now on the next day, which is today, uh, we unlocked pitch, pixel purchase um, at the cart. So we focused on that one. And then we set up a 111 strat. Simply that 111 strat if we go here. And I put $100 on this and we optimized for pixel out of the cart. If we go to my edit, this is what I optimized for. I don't know if it's a certain amount that you need to spend, but I put it at 100 because yesterday we did make some sales. So I wanted to scale up immediately. And this is my um, demographic and stuff like that. Ad set, I just had one a retest, I spent about that. Here are the paid impressions, not as much as I was hoping. So I might want to change the ad on this one because it might get oversaturated. You can add that by adding frequencies. So if you add frequency, um, total frequency, save that. I think this is the right one. It shows how often uh, the ad reappears to your audience. So that's a good one to keep in mind as well. Um, 1.18 I don't know if that's good or bad like I said I just started October 1st so don't know if that is good or bad uh, I don't know if this strategy is good or bad this is just all my personal test but it seemed to work because the very next day today which this campaign is scheduled you guys can see we do have pixel purchase um, updated so I am gonna run a practice test on this with the winning ad and maybe start doing some of um, the testing strategies again i might want to redo um, my second test because i did test two different products with three different ad campaigns so now i can focus um, on this product with three different um, ad videos which would be great because i can optimize for this goal and not have to only go for optimizing for retention so we can switch out those ads put in more purchasing ads and that is what i am gonna do yeah hope this helped if it did leave a like let me know in the comments um if you want me to continue showing what my snapchat journey um leave a comment if you have any advice on those trying to get started on that and the discord as well is available if you guys want to join that so have a good one peace